Hello, I'm Yuri Flair, and this video is going to be about me releasing that face morph material that I showed in a previous video. If you have seen that previous video, you kind of know what's going on, but I'll go over this somewhat quickly. I made this whole material, which is basically all set up to have quite an animated face setup. Uh, I added quite some descriptions on what some certain nodes do, uh, I added some material functions, that kind of thing. I'm trying to explain as much as I can so that you understand at least the basics of how it's going to be used. On the right side I place down each of the uh, textures that I use and explain why I use a specific channel and giving you some tips on additional optimization if need be. Also some additional tips, uh, some notes, links, that kind of thing, yada yada yada. I added a material instance in which you can tweak whatever you want. So I can rotate that eyebrow, and I can do that for each eyebrow, each eye. I can make them look left and right. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. You need to fiddle with it. I'm not gonna do that for you, so that part's gonna be all up to you. You can do it through a blueprint, animation graph, whatever you want. I'm gonna save this. And additionally, I added a small mesh so you can see how the UVs are set up, that kind of thing. And last but need not least I added a texture baker. So if you have a face that you like and if you made your own textures of course because my textures are horrible, they are just placeholders. You can just go to the texture baker, you recompile, you save. Then you go to the render target baker, you double click on it and you see an outline of the face. Basically that's the alpha. So you have the face here in the red, green and blue channel and the alpha is the mask. For some odd reason it inverts the alpha channel, as you can see, but you can always change that yourself, you, one minus it, whatever, in the material once you're done with it. So I'm gonna close that, right mouse click on it, create a static texture, and there you have it. Now you have the face exported. So that's all in the package. Uh, hopefully you'll find it useful, uh, learn from it, uh, use it in your Private work, uh, you can use it in commercial work, unless it's uh, for a Unreal Engine 4 marketplace, but back, but besides that, go nuts with it, and yeah, have fun. That's it, Luo's out.